Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. Welcome to game two of which decks are benefiting the most from Core 21 cards. Wow, we gotta come up with a shorter title. For game three. <laughs> we had <laughs> these decks on last time. Brawl and Shabra's Curious Combo adding Ghostly Pillifer to the mix. Grenzo Doomsday adding Conspicuous Snoop. A deck we're calling Goblin Pod that we brewed with Commander Mechanic adding a Conspicuous Snoop. No, it's, that's not the name of the card! <laughs> I'm coming in like I'm gonna... Adding a Protein Hulk reanimator package to Blood Pod, and of course, Advantage Thrasios, adding Emil the Blast combo with Dockside Extortionist. This is episode two of three. If you wanna check out the first episode or the next episode, do it after do you watch this video. Yeah, after you watch this one. Be Begin! Draw a card for turn. Start things off with a Mana Confluence. Play a Lotus Petal. Cast Mystic Remora. Pass turn. You are just gonna love my turn, buddy. Play an Ancient Tomb. Cast a Soul Ring with one mana floating. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, son. Cast an Arcane Signet. Thank you, Daddy. Would you like some more? Yes, please. Cast Open the Armory. Thank you, Daddy. I hate everything that's happening. <laughs> Find a Curiosity. Pass turn. I'm gonna go Command Tower into the very, very powerful Mog Fanatic. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna draw, get a Bayou, and cast Avison's Pilgrim. Pass the turn. I'm going to pay for the fish. Breeding pool, pass turn. Draw. Mana Confluence. Cast a Smothering Tithe with one colorless floating. Can I draw a card? I'm gonna crack Lotus Petal for white, and I'm gonna cast Dovin's Veto. No response, pass turn. Why did you tap your lands in different directions? Do you know how obnoxious <laughs> that is? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when a land comes into play tapped, it comes in facing the left, but when I tap it at instant speed, you tap it to the right. I don't know why that is, it's just how it is. That's not how anybody <laughs> plays ever. Play Pell Warstone. That's a fish. There you go, bud. Let's let's get in there. Let's attack. <laughs> That's what goblins are for, right? <laughs> go ahead. All right, go to my turn. Draw for turn. Play a Tarnished Citadel here. I guess nobody cares about feeding the fish, so we're going to cast the Carpet of Flowers. Thank you, Daddy. Go to attacks and hit Dylan for one. Second main phase, target you with Carpet of Flowers and make a green for Thin Horn Elves. Pass the turn. Untap. Sorry, fish. You will be flushed down the toilet. Draw a card. Play Tropical Island, cast a Felwar Stone, cast a Thrasios. Go to discard, discard at Temple Garden, pass turn. In your end step, cast an Enlightened Tutor. Put Cursed Totem on top of my library. Draw Cursed Totem for turn, cast a Rhystic Study. In response, cast a Vampiric Tutor. Here's the card, it's going on top. Cast Cursed Totem, land for turn. Bazaar of Baghdad, pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Noxide Extortionist. Would you like to pay an additional mana? You know what, fuck it, no. Six. Wow. Mana Trigger. Crit. You can have it. May yeah. I draw a card? Yes, you can. Yes! Harbor Dragon. Akikus Fikus is on top of the library. Grand Trigger. Oh. Trigger. You can draw it. You can draw it. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget this. Go to combat and I'll attack you for, for one. Mock Fanatic at it again. Draw. Carpet of Flowers is going to target Dylan. Some green mana. Birthing Pod? Do you draw a card? Do I draw a card? Yeah, draw a card. I'm going to activate Birthing Pod. Sack. Finhorn Elves. Dockside Extortion. 10 treasures, cast Assassin's Trophy on Cursed Totem. May I draw a card? Yes. I'm gonna respond by activating Bazaar of Baghdad. Draw two, discard Talisman of Progress, Fallwar Stone, and Grim Monolith. Good to resolve the Assassin's Trophy. I'm gonna go get a base Island. I can just cast Felidar Guardian from my hand. Are you paying for a six study? Yes. So I think we are at death here. I can win from here, yes. I am not prepared to concede yet. Okay, so I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna choose the blink birthing pod. All right, with the ability on the stack, chain of vapor birthing pod. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna do anything about the chain of vapor copy thing. What I really should have done here was bounce the dockside extortionist back to my hand by making a copy of chain of vapor. Instead, I didn't do anything and then did not have enough mana to win the game here. The ceiling of dockside extortionist is so incredibly high. Basically, at this point, if Cameron bounces, Chain of Vapor bounces the Dockside and is able to cast it again, get a whole bunch more treasures. He can use that Birthing Pod to sacrifice the Felidar Guardian for the Karmic Guide like he did here. When the Karmic Guide comes in, he can bring back the Felidar Guardian, blinking the Birthing Pod, and with more mana, he would be able to get rid of the Felidar Guardian again, go and find Kikijiki. Kikijiki makes a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide brings back Felidar Guardian, and from there he can win the game, which is a turn three win. That being said, this is still not a terrible spot for me. As long as long as I make it to my next turn, I have a bunch of different pod ways that I can win the game from 
what the current board state is. I can still cast Birthing Pod, not paying for Rhystic Study. Sack Felidar Guardian. Go get Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide gets back Felidar Guardian, and I can blink Dockside Extortionist. And then Dockside Extortionist is going to get me another nine. I'm going to cast Timna, paying an extra to not let Tyler draw a card. Pass the turn. I feel very far behind. What happened this game? Draw a card. Savannah, cast an Avistance Pilgrim. May I draw a card? Yep. Tyler, I'll attack you for one. Pass. Draw. Play a Volcanic Island. Cast a Mox Diamond. Discard a Hollowed Fountain. Float four colorless. One red from Volcanic Island. Cast Brawlin. Cast Curiosity targeting Brawlin. I get a Fierce Guardianship. Curiosity. Cast Dispel targeting Fierce Guardianship. Fuck, I missed the Rhystic City trigger. Get the Rhystic City trigger. I won't pay. Fire Covenant. 13. Cast Dovin's Veto. Oh, I hate that. Let me see if I can find something for you. Button. That's a, that's nothing. Do it! Activate Bizarre of Baghdad. <laughs> Ooh! I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna Pyro Blast the Curiosity. <laughs> Are you paying an extra one? Sure. Shit. Pyro Blast resolves. This Brawlin list, let me just tell you, I'm just continually impressed with this deck though. I feel like it's just presenting win after win, protection after protection. It's kind of unfortunate or maybe fortunate, depending that we're all able to find so much interaction for it. But it's just, it's cool to watch it actually present so many different wins, backing it up mm -hmm. so many different ways. And Bizarre Baghdad proving to be a really cool addition. Yeah, here too. I was really excited about that include. That just felt perfect in this deck. Resolve Bizarre Baghdad activation. I'm discarding three. Take three? Yeah, you each take three. And she'll get three 1-1 one -one counters. I am 100% gonna go ahead and attack Cameron over here. Right, I'm gonna block with my life gainer. Pass turn. Untap. I'm gonna check to see if I take damage from this mana code. I do. Kikijiki. Activate my Kikijiki. Targeting Dockside Extortionist. Are you paying for the Kikijiki? I am not. Maybe. One and paying for Rhystic Study. Cast Shattering Spree targeting Birthing Pod. Torch Carrier into play. Would you like to pay an extra mana? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. On my upkeep, I'm gonna let the Karmic Guide die. I'm gonna make two red off of Carpet of Flowers. Cast Demonic May I draw a card? Yes. I am going to just get this card. Anything else? No. Draw a card. Volcanic Island. Dockside Extortionist. I'll pay the extra risk study. 13. Many. Pass turn. Draw. Play a land for turn. What if cast a Grand Abolisher? Activate Thrasios. Linvala. Do I really just have to blow all my treasures looking for it? Do I? How many cards in your hand? Four cards in my hand. The fact that this could just be bait. One Thrasios activation. Shit. One more activation. Reveal Force of Will. I sacrifice one treasure. I'm gonna cast Silence in response to Grand Abolisher. May I draw a card? Yes. I'm gonna activate Bazaar of Baghdad in response. Draw two. Discard these three cards. Ranger Captain, Sensei's Diff Top, Wheel of Fortune. Three Brawling Triggers. Cast a Brainstorm. Draw three. Putting these two back in. I'm good to resolve silence. Move to combat. Cameron, I'm gonna swing at you with a 9 9 Brawling. Jump with Dark Side. Pass turn. Upkeep. Check to see if Mana Crypt hurts. It does. Draw a card. Skirt Prospector, paying for Risk Study. Good. Then my turn, draw for turn. Carpet of Flowers. It's gonna make three white mana. Cast him again. May I draw a card? Yeah, sure. Pass turn. Draw. Exotic Orchard. Soul Ring. May I draw a card? No. Arcane Signet. May I draw a card? No. Castlin Vala. May I draw a card? No. I'm going to activate Kikijiki to copy a Mog Fanatic. Sack token to deal point of damage to a Bolter. Sack the actual Mog Fanatic to deal point of damage to a Bolter. We're going to activate Grenzo. Mox Amber into the yard. Dark Ritual. And okay. Tyler, I'll come at you for two. Pass turn. I'm going to crack Wooded Foothills at end step here. I will find a tapped steam vents. Cast a mystical tutor. I'm gonna put a fierce guardianship on top of my deck. Draw fierce guardianship. Cast a tandem lookout. Hard cast, a force of will. May I draw a card? You may. Pyroblast force of will. Deflecting swat. May I draw a card? You may. I will cast deflecting swat targeting your deflecting swat. <laughs> Changing the target of your deflecting swat to your force of will. Sure. Soulbond, I'm gonna activate Bazaar of Baghdad. Draw two, discard Narset, Windswept Heath, and Savin's Reclamation. Three damage to each of you. I draw nine. I would like to move to my cleanup step. Discard cards down to seven and deal damage with the Brawlin triggers there and then draw back up to that same number over and over until you are dead. It's funny how difficult it is to find one specific card out of a 99. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes it just doesn't happen in any of the four decks. Whoops! No, we should still name it. We should still name what it. What decks it? are the most impacted by 
M21. Is the, is the joke like CDH is basically untouchable? Like yeah. the impact is just like no matter how high it is, like the impact like, is just low. It's it's single to format. Uh, not necessarily. There's, they've printed a lot of stuff recently that really impacts the format. Right. Yeah. But like individual cards. Like yes, each one each individually. I guess that's true. But yeah. like out of eight games, we didn't see the four cards that we. Yeah. Chose. There's a hundred I mean? card deck. So like, like how are we supposed as, to? As, even as like impactful as the cards are, there's still like it's still singleton for multiplayer. So you're not gonna see them a lot. If you like to pick up a shirt, you can do that at the link below. If you like to pick up some tokens, you can do that by supporting Black Lives Matter and sending us your email receipts. Play to win mtg at gmail.com. And if you'd like to support us on Patreon, that would really mean a lot. Thanks for watching. See you next time for game three, everybody.